Hey Goofketeers, this is a tour of the Wilderness Cabin at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Outside each cabin is a light on the left that comes on automatically at night. On the right hand side there is a electrical outlet so that you can plug your golf cart. Every cabin has a barbecue grill so that you can grill outside. And every cabin also has a picnic table outside so you can dine al fresco. Let's go inside. When you enter immediately to the right, there's a dining room table. Big screen TV. A nice chair to sit in with an end table. The lamps in the living room are, are moose. There is a double sleeper sofa. It is the sleeper sofa that does not have a bar in it, so it's quite comfortable. Linens for the sleeper sofa are here under the left cabinet. There is also storage located beneath the TV. Here's another view of the dining room table. There is a nice print here. It's labeled Campground Railroad Fort Wilderness. It is done by Colin Campbell, 1972. Colin Campbell is a Disney Imagineer and Disney legend. This is from the Walt Disney Imagineering Collection. In the kitchen, there is a full-size fridge. Freezer does have an automatic ice maker. And as you can see, the fridge is full-size and ready for you to fill up. It does have a microwave and convection oven, two in one. It has a two burner stove. You can see the kettle up top underneath you do have pots and pans and a strainer and then it does come with cooking utensils also comes with a coffee maker and a cutting board your coffee creamer and sweetener hand soap dish soap a scrubby and dishwashing detergent and a four piece or four slice toaster. Has a regular dishwasher. In the drawers, full set of silverware, steak knives, can opener, wine opener, bottle opener. Comes with a more dishwashing detergent, a refill for your paper towels, a dish towel, a nothing in the bottom drawer. Under the sink as you're recycling in trash. If you need another trash bag, there is one inside. Once you remove that trash bag, you will see another bag inside underneath. In the top cabinets, nothing mm -hmm. above the microwave. 
to the right of the microwave, there's a water pitcher and a measuring cup. The next cabinet is empty. The cabinet directly over the sink. Has dishes. Enough for six. Bowls and a large serving plate. The next cabinet has six coffee cups six water glasses, and a large glass cooking fan. That is another view again of the living room. As you come down the hallway, you'll see the bedroom at the end. There's a nice coat rack there you can hang up your coats swimsuits that need to dry rain jackets there's a nice print here of Bambi and Thumper right before you enter the bathroom is the control for the AC in the bathroom there's two sconces on either side of the mirror by the sink Comes with two towels hanging up right by the toilet. There is a window in the bathroom, but it is frosted, so no need to pull the shade across. The shower does come complete with Disney H2O Plus products, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Behind the door, there are four hooks, so you can hang items up there, towels or other items. At the sink, there are four drawers. The bottom drawer contains a hair dryer. Underneath the sink, there are more towels, face cloths and washcloths, extra toilet paper, and extra Kleenex. On the left-hand side of the counter, there are two shelves to stick your, your toiletries up. And that's the bathroom. Headed back now to the bedroom. When you first enter, there is a side door. There's not a way to get inside from that door, but you can exit out that door and unlock it. It has a standard lock, no magic band lock. It has a queen size bed. Above the bed are two sconces that are very similar to the ones in the living room. Instead of being a moose, these have bears. Next to the bed is another print. It's entitled Trading Post Frontierland at Disney is by Sam McKinn, 1956. Sam McKinn is also another Disney Imagineer who was a Disney legend. This is from the Walt Disney Imagineering Collection. Next to the queen bed is a nightstand with an alarm clock. And next to that are the bunk beds. Each bunk bed also has a light with a wilderness theme of deer. And the ladder to climb up is at the foot of the bunk bed. Continuing on, there is a 
area where you can store luggage or apply makeup or anything else that you need right there with a mirror and a table. No storage underneath. That area is actually used for the hot water tank. Next is the closet. On top of the closet is extra pillows and blankets. The safe. Hangers. Luggage rack. Iron and ironing board. And then there is a TV. Underneath the TV there's four drawers. And then we come back to the bedroom door again. For the queen size bed, I did want to note that it is elevated so you're able to store your luggage underneath the bed once you put your clothes away. And then we'll look back out into the living room from the bedroom. To leave, the bathroom is on the left hand side. The front door is on the right. And we are back in the kitchen and living room. Then we come back outside to Fort Wilderness. That is the review of the Wilderness Cabin at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Until next time, we'll see you real soon. Stay goofy.